This is a really good question. Would you talk about how you learn to express yourself better? I talk about this a lot on my channel where I say, um, uh, take the time to learn how to express what's on your brain, learn how to speak, you know, like people talk about, like, I'm afraid to public speak and stuff like that. You don't have to public speak. You don't have to get in front of a crowd of people, but learn how to express what you're thinking and make it come out in words so you can translate it to people around you. I think that's a useful skill. I think it's something should pe people should work on, but you're actually asking me like, hey, how do I work on this? The answer is uh, it's difficult. There's a lot of different ways to do it. And the truth is, I don't know if I have one solid thing I do. I don't just sit at home and say, all right, now it's time to learn how to speak. Uh, it's kind of weird. Um, I shouldn't say it's kind of weird. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some people to do that. And there's probably really great ways to do it, actually. Let me take that back. There's probably references out there for people to actually go and do that. I don't personally do that. What I will tell you is that through content creation, this has helped a ton talking to a camera, even working remotely and having to do things over meetings, I have to be able to communicate things over words because I don't really have any other way to do it. Uh, so one of the things I've noticed, especially with content creation is watch your videos back, listen to how you speak, how you present data and think, how can I improve this? If I didn't know myself and I was listening, would I be bored? Be brutally honest. Don't just watch your content. So people do this. They watch their content. Like, why is no one watching my content? It's like, dude, because your content sucks. You have to do this with yourself. I have to watch my own videos and be like, oh, no, that's boring. That sucks. That should be cut. This is stupid. Uh, I meandered here. I didn't clearly say, think what was happening. Like, you got to be totally honest and mean to yourself. Not mean to yourself where you beat yourself up. But what I mean is don't be afraid to be like, oh, no, I'm being boring here. This is stupid. This is a waste of time. I shouldn't focus on this. I should focus on this. And you just become better at it. Like once you start critiquing yourself, you start making subtle changes. And then next thing you know, you're like, oh, I actually really like the way that I talk and I express things and I can clearly say what's going on in my mind. Um, I realize it doesn't seem like that direct of an answer. I can't give you a step-by-step -step guide. I'm not selling a boot camp on how to do this. Um, but the truth is content creation has immensely helped me. Like just being like today, I'm going to talk about this, record a video and then watch that back. Even if you don't post it to someone, watch it back and be like, did I clearly and concisely convey the information that I wanted to, or did I just flounder? Because you have to be honest with yourself. I keep saying this in your head, something might be so clear. And then you go to express it through your words and you're like, oh, wait, I did a bad job at this. There's some disconnect between what's in my head and what's coming out of my mouth. And when you're really honest with yourself, you start to realize, oh, wait, there's no disconnect. I just don't have this as clearly in my brain as I thought it did. Like I thought I had a very clear understanding of my brain and I just didn't. This is why like, you know, healthy debate can be useful for people to hone their skills and really stress test their ideas because they feel so strong until you go to voice them and you realize, oh, I don't know these as well as I did. Um, so yeah, I mean, practice. I don't know what else to say.